concentric circles method of drawing an ellipse given the major circle and the minor circle and if we look at this 60 degree line where it intersects the major circle we draw parallel to the minor axis where that 60 degree line cuts the minor circle we draw parallel to the major axis and that gets us a point on the ellipse to show why this happens what i have done is i've rotated a disc here and i've marked three points d e and f now as we watch e and the circle rotates e moves along the minor axis it moves from the major circle here parallel with the minor axis into this new location and the same is true for point d it moves from the major circle into the point on the ellipse now we're going to rotate it about the minor axis i have marked three points a b and c here and we're going to look at the way they move so if we watch point a as we rotate the ellipse a travels along that line there which is parallel with the major axis at a point here the ellipse appears to be a circle that's the minor circle that we start off with and if we rotate the ellipse on round further it eventually becomes a straight line and now if we watch point a and point c moving out along the horizontal lines until they intersect the vertical line that gives us two points on the ellipse and that's the concentric circles method of drawing an ellipse explained.